Hey everybody, welcome back to Fallout 4. So we are continuing now with the main story for a bit, probably doing the next mission. Um, we're going to have pretty much, where is it? So we have Dangerous Minds and Memory Interrupted where we have to talk to Dr. Amari. So one is a main story mission and one is the railroad mission. So we're going to do both just so we can try to finish up the railroad quest line and then we'll be moving on to the brotherhood of steel after that so we have to make our way down this way into the memory den And I think this mission can get a little bit lengthy, so I think we should just stick to doing that in this video and then we'll make we'll make another video dedicated to possibly getting more bobbleheads and maybe going magazine hunting because I think we still need the trophy for getting I think it's 50 or 25 or something like that. Hand over the brain, and I'll take a look. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. So the brain is still good, right? Possibly. There's no sign of decay, so the tech is probably preserving the tissue, injecting some kind of compound to keep it stable. But there's no way to access the memories inside without a compatible port. You're talking about me, right? I'm an old synth. If the Institute built me out of similar parts, we might have an in. There could be long-term side effects. I don't know where to even begin with listing the risks. Don't bother. I don't need to hear them. Plug me in, Doc. Aw. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right. Let's do this. I think, honestly, Nick might be the best character in this game. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the inside. Is Nick going to be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully, it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. But that doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory lounger. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Now oh, this is where things do get quite interesting. brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, 
although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory we can find. Look at how cool this is. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. It doesn't matter now, though. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. Wow. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Mm, what a joke. What's it you, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them sane. Pretty sure that school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like before the big war. Don't you listen to that swaddle. I'm going to stop singing you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless, but you will turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hand. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. We'll let you know. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. Yeah, so this point we just basically move our way through the memories, interacting with all the different things, and then eventually it'll come to an end. The thing about happiness is you only know you had it, and it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. So he had a wife and kid. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with the good out of it. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. God, I'm not saying this is a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections, I mean. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. 
Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the sheep. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Chloe. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. Oh, look. We'll see. That's okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. So what happened with his wife and kid? I can't remember. Knowing this game, it was probably something tragic. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they die like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. They died? That's pretty sad. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems, is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done, is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's this family, lives down the creek with us. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. I wonder when he's going to lose his hair. Probably within the next memory or two. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad oh, look at that. To meet with you. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. Look at these guys. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problems. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Hmm. <laughs> he was kind of badass. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting. Oh, here we go. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, 
neither did they. Not really. There's us. Open it. Is he just waving? Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. Interesting. What's the hold up? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But, it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It would be back to normal business before too long. Yeah, he's got quite a sad, tragic story. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X-Men. 
6688. Ready to relay with Sean. Hi, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Yeah, so you kind of learn that Kellogg is a little bit of a troubled character there. Like how he just barges in. Let's forgive him. It, it wasn't all his fault. I can't blame him for everything that happened. If I were a priest, I would say forgiveness is a good thing. We are getting off track. The important thing is that we discovered the Institute's greatest secret, teleportation. The only question is, what do we do now? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That kind of makes sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the glowing sea for a reason. Hmm. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck, and be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Yeah, so that is the main story quest done, so now we can talk to Dr. Amari for the railroad. Amari. You're the contact H222 is talking about? Just when I thought one person could only experience so much danger in their life. The patient is resting right now. Were you hoping to say goodbye? I don't advise it. He's far past remembering anything about his old life. I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. He talked quite a bit about you before I administered the anesthetic. I'm sorry you didn't have the opportunity. Now, what's your plan for moving him? We have to use the original route. There's no other way. That's the plan? I thought your people valued discretion. <sighs> but fine. I won't argue. The Malden Metro Center is where you need to go. All the Gen 1s there need to be gone, understand? All of them. I'm leaving H-222 and his future in your hands. Once he's gone, we never had this conversation. He was never here. Before you leave, keep the holotape on the table. It's a personal message for your ears only. On what table? What's she talking about? Who are you? Stay back. Um, might have already picked it up. I don't know, but that's basically it for what we have to do here. Let's just go upstairs, talk to Nick to move that quest forward, and then we can go make our way back to the railroad quest. Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. <laughs> what? Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? 
Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City. You've got company already. Well, I want to keep Deacon because I almost have him maxed out, so let's... I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. We'll put Nick Valentine in our party soon enough, I think. Sounds like Ellie needs to talk to us. We should head back to the office next chance we get. Okay, so we need Which way are we going again? Up this way? Yeah. So we'll just fast travel to the Medford Memorial Hospital. I think the Gen 1s are decently easy. They die within a few shots, I think. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hang on a second. <laughs> we got assigned the same damn job. With all our compartmentalization bullshit, this sort of shit happens. You got the job from the good neighbor side. I got it from Griswold Safe House. <laughs> That's the price we pay for security. Don't tell me you buy into that crap. Sheesh. Well, since we're both here, what do you say the two heavies join forces and rock the heavens a little? Gives me a chance to see what you and Deacon really get up to in the field. Usually it's spa days and macrame, but hey, I'm up for some mayhem. Let's do this, Corey. You lead the way, my friend. All right. Let's put... Let's use a different weapon. I think maybe we'll switch back to the rifle. Where are they? Can we just, I don't know, chase them off? Well, I don't see anybody. I don't know what the heck she's even talking about. That is some precision pushing I like that he uh, appreciates our lock picking. food storage terminal. Gus, read this. Interesting. Stand still, come on. Damn it. Oh, there's a legendary. We'll make our way around.
Reduces damage while blocking or sprinting by 15%. Okay. Not as good as I hoped. I mean, how many more can there be? Oop. Damn it. I don't really want to go through all this. Oh. Come on, just for restart my tries and then I can get it. Okay, it's just a Protectron thing. I don't think it's even there. No, I really don't know where we're going. Found it. Thank God ammo doesn't weigh anything in this game. Okay, so now it looks like everything's appearing on the on the compass. We need to go one floor down. Okay. This just led us all the way back around. I'm being a little bit more selective on uh, things I pick up now just so I don't get over encumbered, but. I am leaving behind a lot. So it was a battle between the... 
a group of raiders in the institute here. What? Why didn't that work? We almost died. Holy crap. Let's use a rat away. And that is pretty much it. We're just going to run around. We'll grab all of the all of the ammo and health we can find and then we'll make our way out of here. Just check this other way and then we can leave. Now which way did we come in? I think we came in that way. caps there. Where did we come in this way? I can't remember. Oh well, let's get out of here. We can uh, search for things later on. It would be good if we can finish up the bobbleheads just so we don't have to worry about them anymore. But I'm thinking maybe we'll save that for the next video just so we can do them all at once. I think we need about 10 more. So back to the Railroad HQ. Contact Dr. Amari. She'll have more details on the route. The route's been cleared. H-222 is safe to move. I know. I already got an earful from Glory about Malden. Operational security is worth the occasional crosswalk. Anyway, Amari reports H-222 made it out safely. It was good to help out H-2 again. Looks like he has a guardian angel. The crisis is over for now. Take this. You've earned it. Pam wants you. She explained why, but I couldn't figure it out. Pam is out this way. Oh, just another cache. I can recover it. Location of so these ones, I'll just do them. They're just basically to search places and get items. Um, I think we can get another main quest from someone, right? So you and Glory got assigned the same op. Compartmentalization of intel does have its costs. Says Demona. The business in Good Neighbor is concluded, right? The extent of our operation there is quite sensitive. When running sense out of the well, wastelander can be a bigger problem than even the city. Okay, I don't think we have to do anything here anymore. Um I, we do have three, looks like um railroad quests that we can do. Maybe we'll jump into them next video for now let's actually go to our miscellaneous tab and actually look maybe we'll do some side quests 
Give Sheffield a cola. Let's do these two. Because we can do them both in Diamond City, I think. We just have to make sure we have a new Coca-Cola on us. We have a Nuka Cherry. Okay, I think I have some at Sanctuary. We'll fast travel there and grab it. Alright, I just picked them up. I had them in my workbench. Let's make our way back to Diamond City. I think we have to give them a couple, if I remember correctly, and then that'll be a... Because we have to do so many miscellaneous quests and then usually they're very short some of them do unlock side quests and stuff like that but um where is he again why do i feel like he's sitting around somewhere we need a sleep or a rest wait till about there What the heck? I could have sworn he's like sitting around here somewhere. Maybe he moves around, hang on. We'll grab that one and that one. Oh. Yeah, they're on the move, so... There he is. Thirsty. New Coca-Cola. Here you go. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you. Thank you! Hmm. Hey, Sheffield. What do you think about coming to work for me? Really? You... You mean it? That's right. We'll send him to Sanctuary. Okay, I'll... I'll do it. Sweet. So that's done. Let's go talk to... Abbott. Where is he? Over there. So he wants us to get paint, I think, which will unlock a side quest. Don't touch the paint. Don't worry, I won't. Good. The wall keeps out the bad guys, so I appreciate you not messing her up none. Thinking you need a little education. Maybe a bit of community service. What do you say? Happy to help out. You see this paint I'm using? Only one place left in the whole Commonwealth you can get it. Hardware Town. Rune store close by to the west. Bring back a can of paint, and it'll be a hundred caps in your pocket. How's that sound? So we could ask for more money. Let's see if it affects Deacon. Only if you throw in some more money. Fine. Pay you 125 caps. I think you can do better than that. Driving a hard bargain, huh? 150 caps. Last chance. Make this worth my while or I walk. Let me buy the short hairs here. 200 caps. That's all I have. Paint retrieval. I'm on it. Much obliged. Painting the town. So, this is a very short quest, so we might as well do it. Uh, before we end the video, Hardware Town's very close by. Um, why isn't it show? Oh, right up there. We've actually been in here before. I think I've explored this place twice, actually. We pretty much, I think there's just some regular bandits in here, but we pretty much cleared the place out before, unless they respawned. Which they very well could have. Yep. So if they respawn, maybe the loot did too. Oh my god, what are you doing? Like, Winning, that is. 
All the loot did. There's actually a chest up here. I'll show you guys. You can get some really good items in it. Oh. So if we go up this way, grab this. Um, okay, the chest is on the right there. So to get to it, you have to kind of uh, you can jump across here. Now this could be a little bit of a headache, so you have to kind of like jump because you'll hit the ceiling when you jump. So you have to kind of just like run off onto those crates there, I think is the easiest way. And I failed. Um, but yeah, and it's, you're just gonna find like um, some items and some resources in there most likely. Hell yeah. Decent salvage here. Those hardware stores are stripped of the studs. So if you make the green paint, you get your uh, your full reward, I think. Who's shooting at me? You almost got away. You live to fight another day. And night. And day, etc. Et Damn it. We'll just run back. Now even though this is the last quest that I'm gonna do uh, for the video guys, if you are following along with me, make sure to do um these quests for the railroad, the setting up the Mila thing, getting the safe house, and even the these DIA caches. Just do quests like that until you end up unlocking the next main story quest, which we'll usually have uh, every time you come back. Um, the one deliver, delivery boy or whatever his name is will just tell you that Desdemona wants to talk to you or whatever. That's not where we go. And then once you complete that final quest, you should get the trophy for completing the railroad quest line. And there should only be one more quest, I think, maybe two. See how the shade matches up. So you can see it gives you the option to use the wrong paint. Working hard? Mm, that's a good shade of green. The wall sure seems happy with it. Happy to help. It's been an honor. It's nice to work with someone who knows how to show respect. Oh, Deacon dislike that, eh? Payment and a little bonus for getting the right shade of green. Don't do anything with it I wouldn't do. So you gave us a hundred extra caps. That's nice. Um, just a, also another thing you guys can do in between videos. I might tackle it next time, but there is a guy here. I think this baseball guy will actually give you a side quest that you can do. 
and um, there are a couple more I think we can find, but we'll we'll tackle them in the next video I think. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, guys. So make sure to like and subscribe, as I always say, and I will see you in the next video.